everyone, welcome to the Paris vlog. We're currently still in Milan at the airport. Um, we're checking in for our flight to Paris, so I'm very excited. Hope you enjoy this one. Also, outfit details from the airport. This is a jacket, very oversized by Isabel Morant, and this is actually a Zara plaid dress that I'm wearing with my sneakers. We're at the Milan airport and I'm at one of my favorite restaurants. It is not LPQ, but you can probably try to guess what it is. And if you haven't guessed yet, it's Wagamama. I'm so happy to be here. the typical French, madeleines, and macaroons. Hello, so now we are headed to breakfast, first day. Um, I've worn something very just last minute, so. My mom has a really fun story to tell. Go ahead. When I was eight and I came to Paris for the first time with my dad, I stayed right across where we are staying today. And um, such beautiful memories with my parents. Which one would you have if you were in Paris? The Eiffel Tower or the Stiletto. All right, so we've been walking the streets of Paris, and now we are, you can probably guess where. If you've been here, this is the Galleries Lafayette, and we're right in the center, and we see the dome. And surrounded by some amazing beauty brands. This is the life. Good evening. Um, I did not do too much today. I so far have gone to Galleries Lafayette and then I, um, Printemps I think it is called. We went to Printemps and what we really liked was the food hall in the Galleries Lafayette which was really cool. They have all of the, I guess, famous Parisian bakeries in there like Pierre Hermé and like, you know, even pret a manger was there so that really excited us. Um, but now, uh, I actually spent the last two hours getting ready. I know I don't look that ready, but I got myself ready. And I'm going to the Atelier Cologne party, cocktail party tonight. Um, and I thought since it is a cocktail party and we're slowly transitioning into fall, I wanted to do something with browns, um, but also stay a little bit on the lighter colors. So my dress is um, kind of paying homage to fall, but also a little bit um, reminiscent of spring, summer. And this belt I've actually worn several times. I've just worn it backwards today because I wanted to match the brown tans. This is a Roger Vivier gold bag. And then I've worn actually my pink Roger Vivier shoes for a little bit of a pop of color. So, sorry the lighting's not that great, but I'm very excited. Um, this is the first night event, I guess, of Fashion Month. And I'm hoping it's gonna be a great one. So I'll take you guys along with me. Hi guys, so as you can see, we are back. I'm eating macaroons, or not macaroons, madelines, because, well, the party was great. It was super fun. I saw some really cool people. Um, a lot of the bloggers that I kind of look up to and, you know, have always, I guess, drew inspiration from when I first started. Um, they were there, so that was really nice. And the decor was awesome. 
Uh, the products themselves were really cool. The perfumes are amazing. Um, very fruity, very sweet scents, which was very cool because I love um, fruits and smelling like fruit, especially in LA where it's always warm. Um, sorry, I'm like eating a Madeline. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Uh, just gonna take off my makeup, take off my dress, put my PJs on, go to bed, and then tomorrow's a new day. And I'm not gonna reveal tomorrow's agenda just yet. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, so keep watching. Today we are going to the... I'm trying to get some light in. I'm trying to open this shade. It's not opening. Um, anyways, today we are going to the Louis Vuitton Foundation. Um, it's a little bit of a museum and it's about 25 minutes out of Paris. Um, this isn't like a PR event or anything like that. It's an actual museum that we bought tickets to. So I'm excited to go see that. Um, my outfit today is this top is Tommy Hilfiger. It's my dad's actually. I'm wearing my Hermes belt on the blue side and I'm wearing these really fun pants from Uniqlo. Um, and then my earrings are Lee Georgette and so are these. Yeah, uh, simple, uh, happy day. My hair's just in a bun, very messy. But I think that's a look, so yeah. why they look like that. Mm -hmm. But if you look at them, there is everything we talked about. You have the crossing from the root to the garden. You have a geometrical shape, so the gallery. Here, you have sort of a cube. So probably the skylight by bringing the light into the gallery. And there you see more geometrical shape, maybe the auditorium. This was one of the options for the, the cocoon on the terraces and on the elevator. This is a type of pine that is um, not sensitive to water. Um, the idea of the artwork is a landscape, a very, very far landscape in Island. And uh, do you know what is an aurora borealis? Yes, the light in Island, and it's like an aurora borealis. And there are 43 columns. Good evening guys, it is still the same day, though I am wearing something different. Um, there is an event today for Forward, uh, which is kind of like a net -a porte of sorts, except it has a pretty cool collection, so um, yeah, I'm very excited to go. Um, it's a 10 o'clock event and I'm an early bird, so not really my vibe, but I think it's gonna be great. It's always good to change. Um, I did something, you know, I was gonna wear a black short dress because it's kind of like a nightclub vibe, but you know, I was like, everyone's gonna show up in that. So I'll show up in something a little bit different. Um, this is a coat that I've kind of cinched at the waist. I'm wearing it with my Bottega bag. You know what, let me show you the mirror. Okay, so I cinched it at the waist. I'm wearing a Bottega bag and then for shoes, I have these super, whoa, the lights went off, okay. Well, I have these super cute pink Fendi's. So, yeah, let's have a fun night. Okay, so we are currently headed to a Yuna Yang event, and then after that, cocktail party. As time goes by. Morning from the streets of Paris. A little bit loud. But uh, today's gonna be a fun day, it's very busy. I'm not fully dressed in what I wanna wear today. I'm actually headed to um, a showroom because they're gonna give me a really nice dress to wear today, so I'm excited for that. Um, it's from the brand Montu and the one that uh, I showed you guys from my Milan Fashion Week vlog. Uh, but in terms of events, just stick with me. You'll see what's there throughout the day. This is the dress. It's a beautiful color, one of my favorites. Um, and I've paired it with red. All right, so now we're 
headed to uh, meet someone from the Les Georgette Bio Test team. Um, this is a brand that I've obviously worked with a few times, that I'm always wearing this stuff. You know, the rings that I wear all the time and uh, the earrings sometimes. So, yeah, finally ni nice to, you know, get to meet the team in person. And I'm excited to kind of see uh, what it's like and also see the shop. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Have we ever been in your content? Sometimes. <laughs> so we are at the Les Georgettes by Altice, a little store here in Marais in Paris. Um, I got to meet a member of the team and now we're taking a look around and I will show you what I'm really liking. This bracelet is very cool because it'll go with so much. So. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll walk out with this one. Okay. Now we're headed to the Christian Louboutin showroom for a reese of their last collection. There is a picture on it, but it's only with flash on it. Okay, so this is the bag without flash. This is the bag with flash. More like that's that collection. It's um, we call it like lady edition. Okay. The thing is like the heel. It's not attached, but it looks like the Oh, that's is so not cool, attached. I didn't see that. But Christian, I wanted to do that since a very long time, but it was not finding like, the, the good technique um, to, to create that. vlogged as much as I would have liked but it's been a really fun time in Paris um, I have to say some of the shows that I've gone to here actually I haven't been to many shows it's been more like events yesterday we had the revolve event um, which was supposed to be a picnic by the Eiffel Tower by the way but it wasn't because of the rain so they relocated it to the stationary boat um, I saw the Christian Louboutin showroom just before that and that was basically like the pet press showroom and that's exactly where Louboutin works from actually um, himself that's where he designs that's where you know all the products are kind of developed and everything that same area location um, so we went to the press showroom and it was a reese of their spring summer 2020 collection that actual show which was really cool it kind of had this train effect and um, if I find a link to it I'll put it here but basically that entire show happened during haute couture so that was um, in June, July-ish, and right now it's women's. Um, so yeah, they were just doing a Reese of the collection, and it was very nice. I have to say I was very pleasantly surprised by the innovativeness of some of the shoes, and as well as the bags. Um, very cool. Today is a little bit of a relaxed day. I didn't put too much on the schedule in terms of work stuff like fashion events or shows or anything like that. Instead, we're just going to roam around Place Vendôme and then at night we have one small show by a small designer um, and I'm going to go to that and then come back. And you know, I've really been running this Paris Fashion Week. I kind of knew it would be like this in Milan in Paris because I tend to put a bit of pressure on myself since I'm here and you know you just feel like you want to do make the most of it and do as much as you can go everywhere um but now you know as i said in my new york vlog it's not about going everywhere it's about going to the places that you know um, you'll develop a relationship with or you have a connection to or somehow you just feel drawn to their collections um, so for instance like yuna yang and mashizan i went to their show in new york and i came back here in paris because i actually got to meet both the designers and both of them are such nice people and beyond that, especially with Mashizan's collection, the shoes and the peacock motives and everything, I just really connected with uh, coming from India and just appreciating um, the innovativeness. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, I have to say yesterday I also went to the Intercontinental Le Grand and it was for the Oxford Fashion Show and usually they um, showcase five independent designers and I went and while the venue was amazing, I didn't have that great of an experience at the show. 
Um, this is raw honesty, guys. I did not identify with any of the five designers' collections. I And this is a personal thing, so it's not that the de designers were bad or anything. It's just I didn't really enjoy them. And I kind of knew from the past experiences I had with Oxford Fashion Show that that just kind of wasn't my vibe. And I haven't really enjoyed any of the experiences. Um, you know, I was even... My seat was like... I got a seating assignment by email and then when I went there, I wasn't able to get my seat um, and then they made me stand and not that it matters whether, whether you're standing or sitting, if you're going to a fashion show, you go to enjoy the show, but I just think that whole experience wasn't very um, inviting or friendly. So yeah, just being honest, being raw with you guys. Um, yeah, but other than that, this Paris Fashion Week has been great. Um, I'm slowly losing my voice just a little bit because I think I've, again, spread myself too thin. But today is going to be no pressure, just one show at night. Um, tomorrow is a day of vintage shopping, so I'm excited for that. Day after, we have one meeting um, with the PR person, and then we're leaving on the first. So I think after that, I'm gonna be a hermit, sit in my room and just crank out work on the computer, looking like a complete couch potato. And I think that's the best thing to do after Fashion Week, so yeah. Okay, now that was long, outfit details. This is actually from, believe it or not, Zara. I usually don't love to shop at Zara because they do a lot of copies, but this is something that I think was really cool. Um, the fabric is also quite comfortable, so it's not bad. This is a skirt, blue, and it's very nice and silky. And I'm actually gonna take my Vivier bag with this. This gold Vivier bag is what I'm gonna be taking with the outfit. Um, super versatile and I've worn it a lot. Though you have to be careful because it does get scratched because it's very fine leather. So be careful with this. Walking around Place Vendôme. Just look at that line. For Angelina, famous Paris bakery. We are now headed to the Imoni showroom. Um, I thought we were gonna go in the evening, but then I decided, you know, we'll make it a little bit early so I can have an early night today. Um, I'm excited. It's a small brand called Umanis Pour, and uh, yeah, we'll see the collection. Uh, they're inspired by Paris. Um, and this is their famous switch bag. They won a design competition in Europe. Uh, basically the concept behind this is to put your belongings inside and then you can take this from purse to purse. So I think it's very practical and, and very cool. Good morning. Um, today's not such a work day at all, so I'm very happy about that. Though I like working. Um, it's not really even work, it's fun and work. Um, today we're going vintage shopping. There are apparently some really cool vintage shops here in Paris, so we're gonna go there. Um, my look is very casual. Um, this blazer is from Zara, I recently bought it. Hermes belt, Uniqlo jeans, Reebok sneakers, and Givenchy bags. So very, um, just my classics, you know? So easy throw on. Um, going vintage shopping, so. Oh, and this is in the area of Marais, which has a bunch of cute little boutiques. Let's go. Marino inside Murray. We were going to go to the vintage shops, but a lot of them were closed, so we did an ice cream stuff. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Where are we right now? We're in Lombardy. So it turns out that most of the other vintage shops were closed, so we now found ourselves at Galleries Lafayette, back here at the Central Dome. Cannot leave Paris without picking up here Hermes macarons. So it's the next morning, and I'm here for my meeting, just waiting, um, with a special someone from a special brand that I love. Hello again from the streets of Paris. Um, I just had a meeting, a small breakfast meeting, just kind of. Yeah, anyways, had a meeting, so I'm dressed in very meeting-y clothes. This is a Dior blazer, vintage one from The Real Real. Um, like a lemony silk top, my Vivier bag, and then just used jeans and my flats. Um, 
Anyways, we are now going to do something very touristy and very interesting, not interesting, I don't know. Uh, we're going to Global Blue just to get the tax refund for whatever we shopped. And then tomorrow we are out. So I think I'm gonna end the Paris vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Paris, the events, the shows, everything. Um, yeah, so I'll see you hopefully soon in another vlog.